Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create memory gaming storyline and how to add the flipping effect on the cards. So guys, I'm going to show you how to make the memory game and the flipping effect on storyline. So as you can see here, again, I'm using cocoa black material. Um, so I'm just going to go through the card the state of the cards that I have here. Um, as you can see, I have several cards here. And I'm just going to go to the state of this card and I'll show you what I have in there. So I have set this card um, initial state as hidden and the normal state is uh, just a default state of the chocolate. And I have the flip state, which is the back of the card. And if I go to that card and I go to the animation, you can see that I've had this swivel effect um, or like the flipped effect. Um, however, the tricky part after done a bit of research on e-learning heroes that you actually cannot add this animation directly on the state for some reasons. So you have to add the animation prior. You add the image into the state. So um, I'm going to show you how. It's very easy. Um, so I'm just going to do a quick preview here to show you what we are looking for. Let that load a little bit. And so when you click on this card, uh, you're going to see that flipped effect on this card. So um, we're going to do that together. So I've prepared on the next slide these two images. Um, and there's no state. It's just two images, same size. Uh, and these are PNG. And so what I'm going to do is that on the macadamia image, I'm going to add a swivel effect. Swivel effect and I'm going to put uh, 50 seconds. I think I'll use 50 seconds because uh, I just thought it was the best uh, speed, uh, the most comfortable speed that I find for this effect. And what I'm going to do is going to do, I'm, I'm going to press Command X um, on Mac. So I'm using Mac for this. And I'm going to click this chocolate image and I'm going to go to the state and edit state. And I'm going to create a new state and I will name that flipped. And I'm going to add that. And I'm going to delete the one that is automatically created. And I'm going to paste this card that we have created before and as you can see here the swivel effect is added there and so what you want is to corner that and make that in the same position i'm just gonna click done i'm gonna add trigger change the state of this card to flip when user click the Macademia A2. All right, it's random naming, but just bear with me, guys. And we're gonna preview that. And then that's it. So it's very simple. So next is, I'm gonna show you how to make um, only two cards appear at the same time. So basically, I want to close all the cards. When the third card is selected, um, if the, the first two matching cards are not true, if that makes sense. So before we start doing that, I'm just going to show you the um, variables that I've created for this. So um, the one that is important to note for this particular effect that I want to create is this v count uh, that I created. 
So the idea is that if the V count is three, I want to make all the cards close if they're not true. So then the next step is once you have all those flipping cards ready and rename them properly. So the way I rename it is I would rename um, them A and B, so pairing them with A and B. So in this case, I have a, uh, this one is a macadamia, I believe. Um, let me just go through that. I think it is, oh uh, yeah, here, macadamia A, and then the macadamia B is here, I believe. So here, what I do is that on each card, and I have the same effect on each card, but obviously you have to adjust um, based on the name of that card. So when the user click the macadamia A, uh, I want to add one value to V count. Once you add the um, value one to V count, what you want to do, you want, if you want to change the state of the macadamia B to normal, if the V count is value three, and if the variable macadamia is not equal to value one. So, okay, before we actually continue with that, what I was supposed to do is to show you the variables that I had here. So on each card, um, on each pair, uh, I have created these variables and named them accordingly to uh, the ingredients. So I have here variables macadamia, green and honeycomb, finger lime, Devison plum, and wattle. And instead of saying um, true or false, I like to use a uh, number variables uh, I, for some reason I just find it e easier to to work with um, so whenever it says zero I would like to take that as a uh, default or just um, uh, like a starting point and then whenever it says one that that's when uh, uh, it means it is equal to true so so here we're working with number zero and number one. Um, so go back to the triggers that we have here uh, for the macadamia card. So what we want to do is change state of the macadamia B, which is the pair of the macadamia A, to normal if the V count is value three. So if there are three cards open and if the, the pair of the macadamia is not equal to value one. So if, and if the um, variable or the pair of the macadamia is false, basically. And so what I did is I did that uh, for every single other cards here, except the current one. And the other thing that I also add is to set the V count to value one if the V count has reached to three. So as soon as it's uh, three cards selected, I want it to reset to one. So then uh, learner can uh, continue opening any other cards. You, what you also want to do is to, um, if the other card, uh, the first card that you open, is uh, macadamia and and you the next card you're about to open is about to be true if that makes sense so you want to set um, the the variable macadamia to value one if that means true if the state of the other macadamia is already flipped and so what you want to do is you do all this um, trigger to all the other cards that you have and then that's it you got all these flipping cards so 
just gonna let it load and see preview. And that's it. You have this pairing. And the next thing that we want to do is to show you how to make the pop-up message and to make this card hidden when they appear correctly. I want to show you is how to make that pop-up message when you have the pair um, correct. And the tricky part with this is when I developed this uh, is there was no delay between the uh, cards pairing correctly to the message pop up and um, and I could feel that was not a good user experience because I want them to be able to see okay I have paired this correctly and I saw that the two cards are paired correctly um, so I needed to create a delay or a timer and as you can see all these red um, boxes on the left here are the delay animation that I created to postpone the pop-up message to appear too quickly and this animation is about uh, 0 0.75 seconds so very quick but enough to show um, that there is a slight delay and the learner is able to see that they have selected correctly so I just want to show you what I'm talking about here. Let that load. It's pretty slow. So, so we know that this is macadamia, and then the second one here, and you're gonna see that there is less than a second delay before the message shows up if there was no delay as soon as i get the pair correctly uh, there was no chance that i'll be able to see that the second card is correct so here you were able to see uh, that the second card was in fact macadamia so what i did was So you want to use that uh, variable of the uh, the ingredient uh, here. So we can take a look at the macadamia one. So what I want to say is when the pair is correct, so when the variable macadamia is uh, true or one in this case, I want to, to move, I want to start the animation of this for less than a second. And after the animation complete, I want that to trigger the pop-up message. So here I have so here I have when the pair uh, the variable macadamia adjusted or true, play that uh, macadamia timer, uh, macadamia timer animation. If the variable macadamia is true or value one, so the second trigger that you have to do is on the timer here. So when, so I'm just gonna click that. So it's easy. So what I want to do is I want to show the layer here that I've created, a layer macadamia. When this um, delay object timer animation is completed so instead of um, using the correct pair as the trigger of the pop-up message I want to use this timer as the pop-up message so guys the last thing and an easy part is how to hide those cards away when they have been paired correctly so what I did is I use these layers and these cross button and what I want to say is when the user click this button I want this to change the state of macadamia A and macadamia B to hidden because at this stage you know if they've got to this stage 
they've already paired correctly. So, and then you do that for every every layers, and and you will have all the cards hidden once they've paired correctly. Hi guys, so thank you for watching. I hope that is useful for you. And I also would like to take this opportunity to say thank you for everyone who's been watching my YouTube videos and follow me on my channel. Uh, I know I'm just started and I'm gonna continue to start uh, to make better videos for you guys. Thank you guys. Mm -hmm.